just caught up with Marty Lennon in pit lane. Marty, great to have you back with us here at Thunder Sport GB. You've been with us a fair few years. Out there in on a Superstock 600. More importantly, I just want to talk to you about the Mini Twin you're out there on. You're actually in the GP2, but what happened in race one? Got a wee bit tired, Steve, to be honest, and lay down uh, half a lap to go. So just lost the front and up into the top of the hairpin, you know, so it's just one of them things. You win some, you lose some, you know. Got two wins yesterday, so i go ahead and see what happens in the next one, so see what happens. And the competition so far, you blitzed them, so uh, you're looking for a, a trophy in the next one? I get a trophy anyway. Well, we'll look out for you in the next race, number 51 in the GP2 class. Robin, over to you. Thanks very much, Steve. Yes, GP2s, GP3s and Mini Twins, all supported by Alto Digital. They line up in the sunshine on the grid. And you can see by the grid girl there, it's, uh, it's uh, breezy down there. Connor Tag, number 100 on pole position, has number 51, Marty Lennon alongside him. And then 49, Ian Raven, the leading GP3, completing that front row. There we see Josh Daly, number 88, on the second row with 33, James Robinson, 135, Chris Harrison, and 17, the leading mini twin of Ian Popwell. Please watch the lights time and Connor Tag poised there. Good start from him, but uh, Connor set a new lap record of Anglesey in the earlier race, Steve. Yes, he took the lap record away from our good friend Rob Ellesmere, so uh, that's the only, I think, remaining lap record that Rob Ellesmere held, so I'm not sure how happy he'll be about that, but Connor Tag is certainly the man on the move, looking for more points, look out for Popperwell, number 17, just going through there in about 7th or 8th, and Josh Daly, of course, number 88, on the Kawasaki ZXR 400, will be looking to make progress, but we just spoke to Marty Lennon, number 51, but currently behind Connor Tag, well, he was, he's just gone into the lead. Yep, he just pulls up alongside there, and there we see number 33 on the GP3, that's young James Robinson, of course, Adam Robinson's brother, Adam, we saw race winner earlier on. Yes, and uh, one of the nice things for Adam Robinson and uh, James Robinson, number 33, there he goes through on the white machine, is uh, if they, uh, if all things go well in this race and for Adam in the next Superstock 600 race, they'll become the first brothers to actually both lead separate championships at Thundersport GB. So there's a, a little fact for you. But the uh, problem is for James Robinson on our timing screens, I've just seen 10 second penalty for jump start. So a little bit of an issue there for James. Now, real problem, but uh, the things they must not do. Yellow flags and the jump starts are the things that seem to catch uh, more riders out than any other problem. But uh, Marty Lennon up the front having this wonderful battle with Connor Tag, taking turns to lead this race so far. There we see 117, that's Ross Jackman on the Kawasaki. Yes, the encouraging thing for Connor Tag here is that he's actually got out of the gate quite well for once. And as we all know, once he gets to grips uh, with a, a race, two or three laps in, that's when he starts putting in some astonishing lap times. And you've got to fancy him to really put some pressure on Marty Lennon. A bit further back there, we see Daly. There's Ian Rabin, the leader of the GP3 class on the 125 GP bike, and just behind him, is Jackman, and then you've got Ian Popperwell, leader of the Mini Twins, and uh, he's currently ahead of Wayne Bridges, Sam Nicholson, and Nathan Hutchinson. Ian Rabin there, where you can see, just coming up from Rocket Out. Adam Paul Freeman's there, running really well in third place, and Adam, every time we see him, event after event, uh, this really does seem to be a, a leap for him this year. He seems to be getting better and better. Yeah, he's very consistent as well, and that should uh, hold him in good stead for the rest of the season. Uh, the only problem with consistency sometimes, however, certainly when you've got to drop a round, is deciding which round to drop. So um, either way, if he keeps going at it, we should see him in the top three come the end of the season. Connor Tag here in second position, starting to get in the rhythm of things here. Marty Lennon has so far, as I mentioned, completely rinsed the field in this championship, apart from his fall in race one that we just saw at the top of the show. A little bit further back there, Josh Daly, almost getting tangled up with Ian Rabin. They're not even in the same championship. Look at this. He's coming up behind Adam Paul Freeman there, and uh, Adam will hear the buzzing in his ears, but uh, just maintaining uh, an air of calm at the moment in third place, but Josh Daly nicking underneath the GP3 machine there. He moves up into fourth in the GP2s, as we see at the front, Connor Tag. Uh, once again, just leading out there, Marty Lennon on his rear wheel, the two of them Having dragged themselves into a reasonable lead. Uh, they've got a bit of daylight between themselves and the rest. And there we see Ian Rabin, who's done ditto really with the GP3s, looking very good here at Anglesey, Steve. 
Yes, yeah, so and despite the 10-second penalty, James Robinson still looks as though he's going to lead the championship overall. Connor Tag there, now he's got out ahead of the race overall. Can he pull away from Marty Lennon? Certainly uh, looks to be. There's number 100, Connor Tag. He's just coming up there to put a lap on Carl Corbett. Yep, Carl. Again, uh, another rider from uh, across the border in Ireland. Just putting out of the way to let the leaders through as the last lap flag goes out. And our three races in one, of course, in the Alto Digital GP2, GP3 and Mini Twins. Well, Ian Popwell still handsomely leading the Mini Twins. Well, Connor Tag here is going to lead the Thundersport GP2 Championship, sponsored by Alto Digital. And Rick Ballerini, unfortunately, with his uh, collarbone in four bits, is going to have to sit and wait another round because he's not going to be back for Cadwell Park either. And he's going to have to wait until Mallory Park and hope that Connor Tag doesn't do what he's done here. He's on his way to a fine victory, the young man from Reading. Yeah, just stretching it at the end, and Marty Lennon backing off there, uh, finishing in second place. Uh, I know that uh, Wayne Bridges was just ahead of Sam Nicholson in the battle for the two remaining podium places in the Mini Twins. Ian Popwell will take the win there. But in GP2s, it is Connor Tag that takes the victory from Marty Lennon. Ian Rabin third and wins GP3s. Josh Daly fourth, Adam Paul Freeman fifth, and Ian Popwell sixth, and the Mini Twin winner. And on GP2 podium, well, there's Connor Tag, the winner, and Josh Daly who finished third. Marty Lennon's saddling up for another race. Uh, but uh, there's the standings. Connor Tag leads it from Rick Ballerini. Josh Daly closes, though, in third, ahead of Adam Paul Freeman, Ian Popwell, and Jake Dixon. And there we see the Mini Twin podium. Ian Popwell, Wayne Bridges, and Sam Nicholson, the one, two, three. And in the standings, Ian Popwell with the perfect score at the moment. Wayne Bridges in second, Sam Nicholson third, then Lee Hutchinson, Dave Palfreeman, and Michael Hand. And in the GP3s, a good win for Ian Rabin from Aaron Hay and Bryn Owen. In their standings were James Robinson. The two brothers do head two different championships. He leads it from Aaron Hay and Ian Rabin.